Hello, baby dolls. It's your friend Sami here. I hope you are eating your carrots for the week. We're going to go through some poopy coins. Poopy coins, alt coins. I've been wanting to make this video. I'm just going to go through, bang, 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 just show you stuff. I'm going to have a look at them. I haven't even looked at them because it actually, not, you guys don't know this, but friends, I have at any point like 150 tabs open at every time and I keep opening up deck screener. It blows up my whole computer because deck screener is always trying to pump the charts. If you guys have any alternative for that, please let me know. I hope deck screener make an app right now. Literally, friends, this is this is what was happening to me in 2021 as well. My computer was restarting multiple times a day because I was loading. I had 400 tarts I was watching. I developed RSI in this hand. I was checking all these ratios and stuff every day. It was freaking mental. I hope we get there again. Now, I'm going to check out Pulse Chain, friends. Now, remember, I'm not going to be able to go all through the coins today. We'll have a quick off-the-cuff look. This is obviously a core coin. They pulled back to the 21 EMA. It's just flipped green on the weekly, pulled back to the 21 EMA, and then pretty much it's the same story, okay? So what I'm trying to do is just trying to show you, hey, I was just waiting for blood to appear. Hey, there are many coins, by the way, nowhere near blood. Do you understand that, friends? Nowhere near blood. Like, for example, I'm just going to show you Fetch. So we're just going to look at one of the AI coins. People are holding that coin out there. I'm just going to look at it. Just, like, I have not looked at it, okay? I have not looked at it, but, well, yeah, I'm not buying that, bro. Get out of here. I know you guys want to buy that. You guys, I know you guys want to play for, yay, it's going to be a triangle and then go up again. Yeah, but that's another that's another 2x. And I know a lot of people don't want to relinquish their position, but just when it comes to me, I don't like buying stuff that is up uh, 40x from the low, okay? Because what are you playing for? Okay, are you going to get out 10 bucks? Well, sweet, that's only a 3x, man. That's only a 3x, but you have to get all the way to 10 bucks. So, Many people holding these. That's okay if they're part of your core positions because a lot of people believe in AI and stuff, but it is what it is. So remember, the main advantage of, say, Pulse Chain and other chains that you think are undervalued as leverage on Ethereum is that if Ethereum goes up and then the leverage on ETH goes up, then all the altcoins on there flourish, okay? Some bad news here, though. I'm going to have to make a post on this. Combined Hex has now flipped red on the weekly super trend. So that's, that's good to buy, Good to buy not financial advice okay just telling you hex is cheap but yes this just means i mean last time we like we went down here it's like 77 days so yeah it could be still bleeding out to june i guess we'll see and just to add as well friends i just want to show you this is the big wall that heck total hex has got to climb i've also made a video showing something like well i wonder what would happen if the crap this cc drops pulse chain and pulse x and they only target hex and it's the hex on ethereum but people think it's both the same so it's just something to think about when it comes to that as well. All right, I also have here, friends, so my lottery tickets, this is pretty much, this is what eHex would be. This is the eHex chart. You can actually see eHex and pHex, but I'm not going to focus on this ratio too much because I, I really, I, I know now the market actually, it's pricing eHex off of Pulse, same as pHex as well. So if you change this, the eHex to Pulse ratio, I remember I've been DCA buying. I'm still here. If it wants to go lower, sweet. If I got up to the box here, you could flip it for more pulse. So that's pretty much what you're doing. Remember, you're just flipping for more pulse. You don't get out of the whole position or do anything like that, okay? So you chill out there. And of course, people are going to say, hey, why even do the whole like, why even exit at some point anyway? Well, friends, you know, look at the price action of the whole ecosystem. I did not choose to be the ultimate winner because I went all in on Pulse and Pulse X pretty much. And like, I, I thought, yeah, it's okay. You can have some PX in here. I didn't think you'd get crushed beyond imagination and just absolutely brutalized, missing out on the entire big first six months of the past run. I didn't know that. Now I know that's like a real risk going forward. It's only like my duty as your friend to tell you, hey man, you get you have to consider taking out stuff and actually doing ratio stuff now. So it's, it's almost like forcing me to adapt here for you. But really at the end of the day, everyone's gonna have to make the decisions for themselves. Now, of course, friends, because of what's happened, with Richard Hart's tweeting and stuff, the market has done a significant pullback on Icosa, right? So Icosa, friends, it's still it's still live here. Alex still hasn't done anything. Maybe we're still waiting. You can see a pullback. It went up, pulled back. It's done the same thing, actually. Look, isn't that crazy? This is the ratio of Icosa to Hex. It went up. It's pulled back to the 21 EMA. I know it's a bit weak here and there, but you're still playing for the same thing here. You're hoping there's a recovery one day. But at this point, right, you, know, you don't have to flip it for more Hex. You can just chart it against Pulse. It's the same thing. And it's just going to remember, it's going to be leverage on everything going up later on. It just, you know, just going to have to wait for everything. Remember, Icosa and Hedron, pretty much the same thing. It's just that, yeah, everyone and the hex staking and all of these, the 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 product market fit for these has been waning. But hey, there's still time left in the bull market if you need to make up for lost ground with other lottery tickets.
Now I'm going to go through the altcoins, okay, friends? Of course, this is like a tropa. Friends, there was a copa out here who got really upset. He actually said to me, "This is I'm going to show you the tropa chart versus pulse. This is most important. So shout out to the gentleman out here who had a cry. This, this Actually, I don't know why, bro. Why are you being a little bitch? He literally, he said to me, you didn't believe in a tropa in September. I go back and I check the chart. Look what he's talking about. A tropa was all the way up here. It literally went up so high he wanted me to shill it up here okay and then i didn't so it went down 94 percent, and then i liked it okay because friends the whole goal is to buy low and sell high you know what i mean so once it did i'm like you know what i don't like it and friends by the way i'm not gonna name any names you know when you start seeing all these mainstream even guys even within pulse chain community and then there's like rugs and stuff happen you see what happens then they're, they're not gonna make it you know like assume three out of ten coins aren't gonna make it to the very end so if you can try just figure out hey I'm going to wait until these things go down, let the weak hands keep selling. And if the project is still there and they haven't left and they haven't rugged the liquidity, there's a chance it recovers. You see what I mean? They still want to keep it there. So that's pretty much it. A trope of very strong ecosystem. One of the premier meme coins. And I love this. See, friends, this is exactly what happened here, right? So it flipped green on the weekly super trend, comes back in here, pulls back in 21 EMA, and then pop. And then as well, look at popping again. You see, that's beautiful. Beautiful. It's exactly what you want to see. I hope a Trope vs. PLS, I hope it just absolutely rockets, gives you like an extra 6x from here. That'd be crazy. So you also have PDI, part of the ecosystem as well. Remember, we're charting against Pulse because I just want to see how cheap, how much room can you grow. This is PDI, man. This is an absolute rocket. I see same chart because it's liquidity linked with a Tropa as well. So you can see up here, probably huge, huge, huge uh, numbers. I don't know. I hope they do. I hope they do. But look, I know you guys, no one wants to chart against Pulse. Everyone wants just to see this. Look, let me tell you something, man. You don't get this chart accidentally, okay? We're in crypto. Everybody's schizo. There's ruggers. There's thieves. That's why, friends, I... Look, I knew, man. People wanted me to keep shilling PDI, okay? People wanted me to keep shilling here. This is when... It's funny. Look at this. This is the point where I was told that there was an inflation bug. This was actually the point up here. See that point? I was told there's an inflation bug, friends. It went up to that point. Everyone wanted me to shill it up here. I did nothing. I waited for it to drop. 90%, it came back 90%, still around, and I go, okay, that's it. I made lottery ticket video. I go, well, that's it, friends. You know, like, hey, that's what I do. Wait for it to play out. It's mini cycle, and then come back down and do that because I'm thinking long term. Everyone's thinking now, now, now. You're going to go up forever. And that's beautiful. I saw the PDI community is still there. Everybody still believes in $1. It is what it is. I'm not going to argue with it. And we got, that's beautiful, right? This is what it looked like, by the way. This is what it looked like. So you got to remember, yes, everyone was telling me, up here as well. Although, of course, friends, I look, I thought there's an inflation bug. What do you want me to do? Okay, everybody checking there's an inflation bug too. You got to remember, man, you have someone telling you that, hey, there's an inflation bug, people are minting and stuff. And then you have all these people saying, remember, we've never before seen a stable coin do this, friends. Everyone's saying, no, 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 this thing's going to go up. Okay, <clears throat> of course, you got to be skeptical. Well, you're just going to go jump off the bridge because someone tells you there's like candy at the bottom and you're going to survive. You can't do that. You have to remain skeptical. Everyone in this game is trying to take your money. They're trying to tell you, just put your money in. That's what you're trying to do. All right. But it is, look, this happened before. Exactly the same with Hex. Exact same thing. Okay, you know what? I'll wait for the wait for it to die down. Come back into my zone. And then we pop up for glory. So yeah, Peter is looking great as well. Teddy Bear, the exact same thing, friends. The exact same thing. Everyone can put on a log chart. I like it. You also put up Teddy Bear versus pulse ratio. You can look at it here. Same thing, same chart. This is Tangang. Tangang still bleeding. We don't know. Is it from the dilution effect from too many meme coins? It doesn't really matter, man. You know, it was coming back. You look at this. See these red candle, friends? This is what these things do. It is what it is. 70% pullback. But look at this. You put it on the pulse ratio and you just get to see, yeah, there's bigger targets for these. Look, man, Tangang, all these, they're only like 4 million market cap, 20 million. This is nothing, man. This is nothing. So you've got to imagine if Ethereum goes to trillion market cap, and then Pulse Chain can hit 100 billion valuation with everything else, then anything under 100 million becomes very, very cheap because people will come and play around. There's also Poor Pleb here, friends. Poor Pleb, once again, look at the Pulse Ratio. As you notice, I always look at the ratios to see that. Look at this, starting to swoop up. That'd be nice if you can go back to the top. That's an 8x. Remember, Poor Pleb's another meme coin. It's a cycle one meme coin. Very, very cheap. Nine inch as well. Okay, a lot of people, nine inch. Nine inch exchange is still there. You're betting on Hexy Bastard returning. Remember, it's the same founder. Nine inch is a governance token though. So I don't know how people look. Poor Pleb's thinner. It can run more. It just, if I had to pick, I'd just personally pick Poor Pleb. Okay, but it has thinner liquidity as well. 
Remember, friends, I don't own all of these, but I'm just showing you all these charts. I'm showing you, hey, I'm looking at these things and what they're doing. Some of them on their way. It's very, very hard to do that. You know, like I just showed you, Paul Pleb was clearly in that big, big buy zone, but not all of them. Some of them just leave. And pretty much, I know a lot of people want to start running over themselves. You can also do P Link. This is the diatropa pair. You can actually see the diatropa, friends. You can look at the the P. This is P diatropa. You can see how they're very, very liquidity linked. The volatility volatility is very, very low with that, just because of that. You also have a lot of things like the wrapped Bitcoin. You have PTS, Richard's only brother. <clears throat> a lot of these things, friends, do these big type of retracements. This is fame as well, fame. This is, <clears throat> you can leverage trade on the ecosystem. You know, it's done a big 80% down. But yeah, man, when it, it's 30 million market cap and 80% down. So for you to get your 10x, it's got to go to 300 million market cap from something. You know, and then it matches GM exercise. So remember, fame lets you leverage trades like a GMX fork as well. This is another one, friends. Blast. I think I saw Mr. B Roots talking about Blast, wasn't he? I'm sure, friends. What Blast is like an Elon Musk, the first game coin. Um, look, it's in the buy zone. Look at, by the way, I drew the box. It's gone below my box even more. There you, so, friends, there you go. Everybody's telling me this is the future of finance up here. And I'm like, all right, let's see when the weak hands start getting out and they bleed. Let's see if your future finance, I'll get you in. Okay, so it's pretty much coming in here. Maybe we'll just have to check. Look, at it's how much is it down? Bang, 94%. So there you go, lost 20X of your money. People buying up there. Same thing, friends, just, just see it. Okay, I saw Mr. B. Rich talking about a blast and Elon Musk coin, good idea. And yeah, I've just waited. That's it, it's come back into the buy zone. Tell me guys, message me on Twitter, tag me on Twitter. Is there a community still with blast? Is it still going up? Actually, while we're here, friends, we might as well just check it. I'll just show you maybe some research. So if you, if you go to Dex Screener, friends, if you go to Dex Screener, you can see these links here, website, Twitter, and Telegram. So you can actually click in and see what's in there. So 1984, when it was 12 years old, Elon Musk made a video game called Blaster. Okay, and we made a token to commemorate it. So it's maybe just representative of that, maybe Elon Musk popularity. So if you go to the Blaster thing, they still have, um, you still have the, the, the Twitter here. They're still posting. Look, April 2nd, burn day, et cetera. So yes, they're still posting. You see that? I'm going to have to cut back to you now, friends. My computer just blew up again while I was just browsing there. But yeah, for Blaster, we just saw it. The Twitter's still there. They still seem to be there. But usually what I'll do is, so you go, okay, are they still posting on social media? You'd have to probably go in the Telegram and just check, hey, is everybody still here? That's all you got to do. You don't know, friends. You don't know what they're they planning in the background. Because look, man, to be honest, friends, you just, just be, look, you got to think, okay, Usually people in these games, there's a very, very short-term impulsive mindset. So they, they have a good idea now. Do they gonna th are they going to think it's a good idea in three months from now? Okay, that's why I don't make coins, man, because i got to think, okay, whenever I – like you need to really, really, really believe in something. You've got to be a true visionary to do that. But, hey, I hope it works out. I hope it works out. Maybe we just get some. Maybe we just get some. You can go back down here and actually see it going down. You know what I mean? Because this is exactly what you want, right? This is what you want. I'll actually make the, I'll make the box bigger now for you. Look, it's down from the top. Down 95%, exactly. But what I would personally do is, okay, it's a daily chart. <clears throat> you would probably want it to at least flip the daily first and then maybe just grind down here. There you go. And then you might say, hey, I like it now. But as you can see, friends, look, you now have to wait till April and May here and there. So a lot of people say, I make it look easy, but it's because I'm high time frames. All right. And that's like, oh, I've got to wait one, two, three, four weeks. Everyone wants things, things now, I want it now, I believe it's going to go up. No, it's really important to get a good price. That's why I tell you, buy in the depression. Now, there's these other residual meme coins and stuff out there. There's G'day from Mr. Tom Gillespie. So you're seeing up here, friends. So shout out to everyone out there. You have the penis Zen, P Zen, Texan coin. You just, yeah, friends, you can just see there's, there's, there's many, many to go through. And I'm going to even show you, right, Dick with Butt is back down to like 1.4 million market cap. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's, look. Not financial advice, you just see these. Okay, cheap, cheap, cheap. If you're in, like all of us, everyone, most, you're mostly in, you just hold. It is what it is. This volatility, man, you can't you, you can't cheat time. That's it. You can't cheat time. That's why it really does help sometimes. I know people do take breaks, but I'm not taking any breaks. No way. This is You've been waiting three years, four years for this bull market. Now that it's here, you stay here every single minute of the day. Don't you dare leave. Don't you freaking dare take any time off. You see... These things, opportunities to appear, you get to see stuff, you get to learn stuff here and there. Also, this one is outside of Pulse and XM. This is in Ethereum, XM is Landwolf on Ethereum. It's still at 11 million market cap. Remember, I change it to the market cap pricing here. So you can see the ribbiting, friends. 
playing for the ribbiting. Hopefully, I mean, it wouldn't I be mad if we went to like 400 million or a billion market cap one day as Pepe thrusts up. Remember, friends, trust me, like, these coins, <clears throat> have you noticed when I go through them, looking at the charts, I'm like, yeah, like, it's just we're all leverage on Ethereum. It's like Ethereum's got to go up and the speed's got to go up and then everybody just, like, has fun. Psychological effect. Oh, that's honestly it. Like, it's not like, oh, this thing's going to change the world and this is great. It's just, it is just, you're trying to measure how believable is this story to everybody else going out here, right? Like, but what I showed you, man, you know that PDI chart? Woo! That chart, friends, you, that's crazy, right? You don't, you don't get, accidentally get that chart. Everyone is, everyone's trying to steal your money. You don't just accidentally grind up and up and up to that. It means there's something big coming. Now, there's heaps of other Pulse Chain altcoins, friends. This was the Gray's currency. Obviously, I love UFOs. I, mean, I wish I got this, friends. I just missed it. I was thinking about getting it here, but I just, for some reason, I thought, well, I'll just wait. Obviously, regrets, but you can't get all of them, right? However, if I put in the Pulse ratio, see, I have a box here. I just have a box there, rectangle. This is, um, look, here's the thing, man. I just, I don't buy 40% dips. I know a lot of people like to because they're playing for the up only forever, I don't like that. If this got back down here to like 70%, obviously you want 90%, but this might not go down that much. You see, there's just a lot of people playing around here. That's just something to think about. If it ever got back down here and it did some sort of sideways movement, like let's say it got down here, maybe, maybe, and then later on, maybe you just, that's pretty much what you're waiting for. And you could always put like a super trend on there just to show you, okay, what, uh, what could be like some really, really basic indicators. See, this is red friends on a daily as well. So you never know, it might just follow back down, try to flip up once and do something like that. So I'm just showing you of stuff like, hey, I've been waiting, waiting to see for it to come out. Obviously, you, you want everyone to win in that to keep coming, to keep going up, but you just always got to be prepared. That's why opportunity, when opportunity strikes, it is what it is. Last one from Pulse and Ecosystem. This, trust, there's many, many more friends. I don't even have time to go through all of them. It's heaps, okay? This is up X. Now, if you look at up X versus Pulse, it is down here. Now, the thing is, this is leverage on the ecosystem they basically they've got like a vault i know they've explained to me a thousand times friends i just uh, it's just too complicated for me just, to, just all i know is leverage on pulse chain that's it leverage on pulse chain so you just got to ignore all of the whippity whoppity chippity choppity and you just wait until the very very end when everything goes up this has if you notice when we started going up okay this had a big leverage factor okay on things starting to move and started having like people starting to believe they're actually they're actually front running the pulse chain move funny enough because richard started buying around here as you can see so this type of stuff it's basically hey i want leverage you go manage it for me they have a vault they take out some sort of loan uh liquid loans i forgot exactly how it works but it is what it is basically you'd be playing for i mean like it's cheaper now but even if you bought the top of this box Right, you're trying to play for like a 10x versus pulse. It, it it's leverage on it. I forgot the move. Maybe it goes like I think four to one higher. I forgot what it is. But yeah, on the downside, you get wrecked because you're playing for. You know what you're playing for? Because Ethereum ETF, you're paying for pulse chain speed and everything to just basically come together at the very very end. It is what it is. So you just got to wait it out. Now I'm gonna go to some Ethereum altcoins just to show you, friends. So this is a mastermind group. Talking about Toshi. Now, this is on Coinbase. Look at this. It had this. Uh, I wonder if this is this a real wick? Someone jeeted. Wow. Someone jeeted. Bang, 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 bang. One big market sell click, 74%. I wonder if that is. So, what you can do, friends, you can go down to the five minute chart or one minute and you can just see, wow, it must have been one single order, right? That's crazy. I wonder. See, what you can do, friends, this is why sometimes it's important. You can put it even on a one-minute chart, and you can see, okay, this person fat-fingered. It, it was not a capitulation, sit down here and go back. Basically, just basically just got everything out. Now, a lot of people, why are they talking about Toshi? It's because it's a meme coin. The devs got some like reputation on Coinbase, one of the first meme coins. As you can see, very, very lucrative for people who got in and started shilling it at the start. You can see what the return was for them up here. Bang, that's 105x. But... I'm not touching it. I don't care what this thing, you can go up forever. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, obviously, this is what I do, friends. It's only 30% off the high. Sweet. I'm, I'm not touching you at all with or without consent. I want something lower. What I actually do is put it against ETH as a ratio here, and I'll change it to a three-day. And look, it doesn't ever have to come back down. It doesn't. It's just that if you want me to buy, you come back down 85%. If you want me to think about this, you bleed out 85%, you do this, maybe that low, you poke below it, and then we're ready to go. That's pretty much it. 
You're ready to go for that Toshi stuff, for that big BP play. See that? But to me, I don't care. I don't care about missing it going up. By the way, even on the way up, you see these move, friends? We thought it had topped out, topped out here. We thought it topped out and it was going down lower. No, no, no. It just shot up and then we had the final Coinbase rally, the extreme at the end. So that's just something I'm going to be watching. I also have Harry Potter Obama, friends. Now, this is a sick, sick cult. I want, I want, I'm, we have to take this one seriously, of course. Start of DCA buying slowly, slowly, slowly. Then it started popping up. See, friends, look, <clears throat> someone tried to cheat the system. They tried to cheat time. They brought it up through the high heat too early. You see this, look at this. You had the high here, you came back here, they tried to really cheat it. They tried to like force it through the system. They go, hey, let's break the high, break the high. And look what happened. You got instantly rejected by the market, okay? You're not allowed to do that, man. You're not allowed to do that. You, you are meant to, see this, friends? You See down here, you were meant to bleed out again. That's where you're meant to be. And then you go up here. You're meant to do that. So I wonder if this thing comes down, and it comes back to where it's meant to be. And then we can get in. That'd be great because you'd be buying it again. That's a lot of too much up and down for people. There might be some capitulation. Remember, that's Harry Potter, Obama. The ticker is Bitcoin. Now, I've got so, so many other friends as well. Also, remember, like this is Titan X. Uh, Titan X, I can't believe this is a log chart already. If you bring it even down more, it's 99.7%. Yes, look, if you're curious, like, why, this is, friends, that's, this should be, by the way, it's like, that's what Hex is doing. You are handing out inflation and yield. You are handing out inflation and yield. That's what happens, okay? If people, look, why do people hold Bitcoin? It's not for the for the yield part. It's like they hold it, they have a belief in a narrative at full, full advantage, okay? People are buying Hex at the start from Richard's marketing. They were buying it specifically because they were sold on a narrative, of to earn yield and price go up stuff. So it's so reflexive on the way down that when things go down, people are like, wait a minute, I came here for the price go up. Now the price is going down. And you can't blame them, right? Because it's been going down for three years. You can't blame them. Like every, you, you, this is not like, how come you say, hey, you haven't delayed gratification enough? You can't say that, man. Whatever, hey, did AI people delay gratification? No. What about other meme coins? No, 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 no. No one's delayed gratification there. Their things are just going up. So, People who wrestle with the market and tell them, no, you should think I'll say, you get nowhere because people are choosing with their wallets. They're voting with their wallets, okay? But yeah, with, with, with Titan X, you get to see this exactly what's happening. Because, okay, how do you get minus 99.7%? It's just because you are handing out yield. And you're trying to do some like game mechanics. They don't work, friends. You're handing out yield. It's cycle two narrative things. People know this from Luna, Olympus, Dow. You're just handing out yield for the sake of handing out yield. People don't want that. People want other stuff. They want price go up. People, The market's learned. You can't just keep releasing this stuff over and over. It has a diminishing effect. That's why, look, I hope these things turn around, but you need people to build around it and do all this stuff here and there. There's a buy and burn treasury. No one knows it's going to happen with this here and there. So there's other alternatives as well. Like you touch the gophers, which I haven't mentioned here. There's gophers launching around in many, many places, but I don't know what to do because you meant to just get in. It's just kind of like up only from that point. Now, Colt Dow, friends, Colt Dow, I'm going to finish off on Colt Dow and Zen. Colt Dow, you see the chart is really, really, really low as well. If I change it to the Ethereum pricing chart, which is what I want to see, what I want to see, you see that? I like that, man. That's really, really nice. I hope one day it does a pop. So from today, if it just goes back up to the top here, that is, we have to see, sometimes with these, the arrow doesn't tell you exactly what price you're going to get if you're using the ruler. But if you do this, that's a 12x on ETH. Bang, that'll be nice if it does a... See, friends, charts that do this, Usually at some point they have some like woo and they do that as well. You know, I mean they do something like that'd be crazy if that happens. Colt Dow, some secret information edge for you. Kyle Chasse, who is one of the biggest influencers, biggest VC connections, the CEO of Paid Launchpad, that Kyle Chasse. He is one of the biggest holders of Colt Dow. He's a guardian of Colt Dow. He's one of the biggest holders. He loves Dow's. He believes that's the future of crypto blockchain. He got into Bitcoin in 2012. Yes, OG absolutely loaded to the gills, you know what I mean? So he's done really, really well. He's a visionary as well. You can see the future with that. By the way, he's got a big position in Chainlink. See what I mean, friends? So that's the type of stuff. He's in cult doubt. That look. But with these friends, maybe it's cycle two. It's cycle two. It's just unique enough that I think, and by the way, why I love it is it's cheap. It's like so cheap. And you used to trade around here. That's what I love. It's so cheap. You used to trade around here. That'd be nice if it pops up one day. Also, <clears throat> Zen, friends. Zen was making around the bottom. But now it's just basically still going sideways. It's going to take some time. This is pretty much Zen versus ETH. This is funny. It's Zen versus ETH on the three-day has never flipped green 
on the three-day super trend. That's hilarious, actually, when you think about it. What I'm going to do, though, is change it to the market cap chart. So you can see, at one point, it was trading at three to 400 million market cap. I hope we go around there as well. You're still waiting for X1 chain and yeah, just competitive edge advantage. X1 chain will be like the world's first AI consensus chain. Don't worry about those words. It just has the words artificial intelligence. People want to get into something artificial intelligence early. It's going to be a cycle one coin. Oh, it's a new chain. Wow. And it has AI in it. That's pretty much it. You don't need to learn. Oh, there's a consensus. We have does AI. It doesn't really matter with any of these. Um, they've also got some cred because they've gone, they've spammed every blockchain. They've done like pestilence, friends. So yes, if if Jack Levin was a Dota hero, he'd be the witch doctor. You know what I mean? Going around trying to do poison mist and stuff around. He'd be one of the poison Pokemon as well. Ghastly or something. Just pss, farting everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what pestilence is, friends. He went, he just, he just pest, was a pest on every single chain, just spamming every single chain. But he did that to break their chains to figure out, hey, how can we make our chain unbreakable? So I guess it is what it is. Now, all these cool stuff, that's narrative dressing. Does it really matter at the end of the day? No, you just care about the price go up. So that's what I'm just telling you. I guess buying and holding Zen gets eventually the points. We're still waiting to see when it's going to come out. We don't know, friends. You don't know. You're hoping it comes out sometime this year and more, more progress gets made there. Okay, so... It will be nice if Zen from today can go and do a nice like a 25x or something up here. I don't know. I don't know. You'll see. If it stays down here, that's the, the plan is though, just showing you, okay? I'm just going to show you. Let's remove this. So, you know, my plan, right? My plan is if you have a hyper pump, I'm getting out, okay? If you keep dying off here and then we do the X1 chain participation, I'm going to assume that's a good winner. I'm assuming when they actually release the chain, maybe in 2025, but I'm just guessing, right, something happens that it's going to open up and gap higher because the marketing and the chain, and, and remember, Ethereum will be higher, Bitcoin will be higher in a year from now. All right? So that's pretty much it. So we have a plan now. If you pump up too much, I'm just getting out. If you don't pump up at all, sweet, I'm just sacrificing everything, getting the points for the um, X1 chain. That's it. You see what it is. So all these charts, friends, charts, charts, having fun. None of this financial advice around Ash Cash and Pokemon, Pokemon hat. But we are seeing blood out there. We are seeing blood. It is what it is. But just be careful, though, because you're, you and me, we're used to the blood of 2022 style, 2023. The bull market blood is one to two months. One month, bang, and then it starts slowly recovering. That's bull market blood, okay? They're dips. They don't get that. But, you know, you don't believe me yet because it's so early. That's what you want. You don't believe me what I'm saying. You don't believe me that, hey... This blood, friends, magical things are going to happen. We're just going to come. Narrative is going to come. We're actually going to beat through and get optimistic again. You don't believe me, which is great. I don't want you to believe me. If you believe me, that means we're closer towards the end because you will only believe me if you've seen recurring patterns of this thing playing out. But you haven't seen that yet, which is good. It means we're early. The bull market is climbing the wall of worry, just like we climb our friendship levels every single day. Like, subscribe, button, and I'll catch you soon.